Hey everyone, just a very quick XNAPS showcase. Yeah, XNAPS is just absolutely amazing. So here you see I'm working on this, <laughs> I don't know what about you, but I really love this flowy, aggressive design shapes. I don't know, so it's a hedge trimmer, right? So cordless and yeah, I'm practicing here. And by the way, if you want a full course step-by-step -step for beginners on how to model that, and yeah, that's pure surface modeling. Let me know in the comments because yeah, I think that's really cool. But yeah, I've set it up here everywhere and I want to close this hole now, right? So this would be here, this area on that machine. And if we try with the patch, so if we select all of those edges here, so we have a closed hole, everything I've set up with G1, so everything should be fine. But if we try to patch it, <laughs> obviously it's not working because yeah, just look at this hole and all of the angles and all of the edges around. So it's, it's way too complex. But if we do the same with XNERP, so let's bam, it's like instantly there. And let's give the edges that we want G1. So except this at the top, at the bottom, it has to be a sharp edge, but if we press OK, bam, guys, it's, I don't know, it's, I will show you also in a second how we would approach that with a normal patch, but just with the x nerves, if you work for yourself or if you work for a client, you know, it's, look how perfect this is. Look at the zebra, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. Okay, I mean, it's not 100% here, but the zebra stripes are really nice connected. So we see that. And also here in this reflection mode, look, it's really, really, really clean lines and reflections. And just with one click, you know, so it's, it's, it's really nice. And it has also the exact shape that we want, you see. So we have here this curve, which we also have here on the reference. And so if we would do with patch, I mean, it's still very good possible, but again, if you have a hole which is just too big, then you have to break it down in, into smaller pieces. So I've just tried to break it down in two pieces. So, okay, I'm doing that without a reference image, but something like that. And now we have to subdivide this curve two times and give here a nice angular shape. And so something like that. So we have this kind of an S curve, right? So also what we have here. So it's, it's going first a little bit up and, and, and then it's here creating this curve. I don't know how to explain it, but I hope you understand me. So we have something like that. So I don't know, I'm just guessing. And then we have to give here an extra edge and also here an extra edge. And now we have two smaller holes. And this is much better for the patch. So we can give here G1, here it's G0 and here it's G0. This is perfect. And now we have to join all of those faces here. And now we have still a pretty big hole, but this should work. So if we patch it now, you see that works. And if we give here G1, G1, G1 and G1, um, okay. And you see it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. But if we would go here into this mode, you see where we have here a nice transition. We have here a little bit of, of this edge here. So we could play a little bit around with the position of the edge and, and break it even more down. But just if you want like a very fast way. So, I mean, I mean, it's still very, very good, you know. But yeah, again, you see, you just have to do a little bit more of work because XNERPS is most of the time you just do that and here you go and just continue to, to work on your stuff. And yeah, so if you want to learn more about surface modeling, you can check out first link below this description. I have a bunch of surface modeling courses here where you will learn the absolute key fundamental techniques and workflows to work with surfaces. So it will enable you to set up all of those faces and curves and everything correctly. Because if you just have X nerves, you know, it doesn't give you any, anything. If you don't know how to set up the curves and, and faces and how to set up the model so that X nerves will work. And you will learn that all in my surface modeling courses if you want. Yeah. So just a very quick showcase here. See you in the next one. Bye.